today I will show you how to transform your Jellyfin server from this plain garbage to this. When you first log on to your Jellyfin server, it will probably look something like this. Very plain and very basic. When you've just installed Jellyfin, every movie or show should be identified by itself. If that isn't the case, you can go to any show, press these three dots and press identify. Then you can give up the name for all mankind, press enter and just click on any result that you are given. The first and most basic thing I will go over are the built-in themes, which can be found under settings, display, and right here you have a theme and a theme for the dashboard. You can change it to any of these. Press save and it should be applied right here and on the dashboard. I also recommend turning on the backdrops right here. which gives you this image in the background when you're browsing your media. If you want more customization in terms of skins or themes, you can always import your own CSS right here, or you can install a plugin called Skin Manager and just import this repo. Go to Dashboard, Plugins, Repositories, click on the plus, give it a name, I'll call it Skin Manager, paste the URL, save it, and now it should be in your catalog right here. Install the newest version, and now you should restart. Restart it like so. Wait a couple seconds and refresh. Once you're back, go to plugins, my plugins, and it should be right here. You can select any skin you want. You can even make your custom one. I like jelly skin with, uh, you have even have some options. Select this one, set the skin and it should be applied looks very good the login page will also be customized as well as a lot of little things the next thing i will go over is the fan art plugin to get some nicer looking pictures right here so go to settings dashboard plugins catalog it should also already be in here right here click on it newest version install it and restart your server and refresh once it's back up go to your dashboard to your libraries press the three dots on any library click manage library and click the fan art, press OK, and now click again on the three dots, scan library, place all data, and refresh. Now you should see, see it, uh, its progress right here, and once this is done, it will have some nice looking new pictures. You can do the same for the movies, of course. Manage library. Tick the fan art. Okay. Scan library. Replace all data. Replace. Yeah, this doesn't matter. And refresh. Once that is done, you can see that a lot of these pictures have changed into fan art. The next thing we will change is the page title right here. For that you're gonna open your terminal, change directory into 
slash user slash share slash jellyfin slash web and you're gonna see a bunch of javascript files you're gonna sudo nano into the main it will be named main dot and then a unique id dot bundle dot javascript press enter and you're gonna get this very long line of code you're gonna press Control w to search and look for document.title press enter this might take a while depending on the speed of your machine i'm running it on a raspberry pi so it's not that fast there's the first one you're gonna change this to whatever you want now deleting this might also take a while um, depending on the speed of your machine I will just call it tutorial once this is changed you're gonna want to change it two or three times again just control W again press enter and here you see the second instance of it again change jellyfin into whatever you want now I've changed it twice if it doesn't change right away make sure to refresh your cache next we will change some images we will change this right here this right here and an image on the login screen uh, I have made these five images very quickly uh, you should name them like this open your terminal change directory to uh, user share jellyfin web and then if you list it you can already see the two five icons right here the PNG and the icon uh, make sure these files are also on your server um, I have them in my home directory here so we can remove uh, I should be sudo uh, rm that one and remove the png one so now they are gone and now we just move them from my home directory um, I guess that's uh, right here The dot is for this directory, so we move it right here. Sudo, of course. And then uh, we move the PNG right here as well. Now, if we uh, ls again, they should be here. Yep, they're green, so those are the new ones. Then we go into the assets folder, into image, and then you see the banner light, banner dark, and icon transparent. So remove those, the light one, the dark one, and the icon transparent one. And then again, same thing move them from the folder you have them in to here and our light oh destination right here then the banner 
dark and then the um, icon transparent there you go now we can ls again and they should be green yes now we can restart jellyfin again and refresh the page delete cache if it's needed Looks like it is needed. I will just open new incognito. And as you can see, this is already changed. I don't know why this isn't changed. It's probably something to do with the cache. Uh, maybe in Chrome. Yeah, so in Chrome it is changed. You also see this one. The next thing we're going to do is add a custom link in the sidebar on the left right here. I will add my Heimdall dashboard, so I will be using this URL right here. It can be anything though for you. And you're also going to need a image for um, this right here. So we're going to go to the same directory as before. User share jellyfin web and we're gonna again edit the now we're gonna search again and we're gonna look for a very specific thing right here I'll leave it in the comments below it's just a uh, it's just a line of code press enter after this comma right here you're going to do a space and then copy in this link, this code right here and just edit it to your needs. So this is where your website goes, which in my case is this. Paste it in there. This is where your image goes. Right here. And then the name of the button, I'll call it Heimdall. Copy this whole line, if I can. And paste it right here. Once that is done, save the file, exit out of this and restart your server and again refresh and maybe clear cache as you can see now I have this button right here that leads me to my Heimdall 